breaking news at 11. Chaos on Capitol Hill as police clashed with roughly 150 protesters who were calling for a ceasefire in the war between Israel and Hamas. Now, 7 News saw several of the officers in riot gear after U.S. Capitol Police called this an illegal and violent protest and arrested some of those involved. The protest started near the Democratic National Committee on South Capitol Street, and that is where our Megan Clark is live tonight. Megan, any idea how many people were arrested tonight? Well, Carl, we have an update tonight from Capitol Police. They have just confirmed to us one person uh, has been arrested. They also let us know six officers were treated for injuries ranging from uh, minor injuries, cuts to uh, officers being punched, uh, officers also being pepper sprayed. And we do, of course, uh, we're showing you that video right now. This was taken by photojournalist uh, Andrew Wofford. The groups we are speaking with out here tonight told us uh, they wanted to be here to demand a ceasefire but they say things quickly escalated uh, some of those moments again uh, we're not clear what sparked the escalation this evening but protesters say things did move very quickly shortly after they arrived we came out here to say ceasefire now we did not come out here to fight or to be violent the violence happened to us as soon as we got out here and so we came out here to ask to stop violence we came to make a peaceful demand which was a demand for peace and to do a peaceful rally um, to let our voices be heard to these democrats and instead we were met by incredible hostility and aggression people being shoved uh, barricades being shoved in people's faces maced in the face and what you're seeing here uh, across the pavement, the sidewalk, these are thousands of tiny electric candles here. The group said they uh, brought these out to stand for the lives lost so far in the war. Now, earlier, Capitol Police also tweeted out uh, that this crowd was acting illegally, violently. One of the protesters we spoke with earlier said uh, that was a mischaracterization. And uh, we have learned that uh, while protesters have cleared out of the area, uh, officers, some officers will be staying on scene just out of an abundance of caution. And of course, all of this comes one day after the March for Israel on the National Mall. Reporting live tonight in Southeast D.C., Megan Clark, Carl, back to you.